really well, then what's the big deal? It's, that's, that's easy to do. So this is an expired. You, you ran across him. It was formerly a group listing. Uh, great agent, uh, great, uh, you know, great company, great competitor. But um, it's priced at four ninety five ish, so right right underneath five hundred thousand, and it was on the market for six months and hadn't sold. So you have the opportunity, and part of your dialogue and having the opportunity, I've always believed, is that when you're on the phone, you'll talk about your value proposition, whatever it is that you do to be able to create the opportunity for an appointment. But at the end of that, what if you're looking for the what I would call the appropriate close? I always say, listen, if what I say doesn't make good business sense in the first fifteen minutes, I'll stand up and leave. Is that fair? Because I think what ends up happening with many people, especially expired listings and for sale by owners, is they're afraid you're going to show up and never what? Leave. And never leave. <laughs> it's like it's going to go on for four hours. So set the stage right away. So let's make an assumption. I showed up yesterday and dropped off my pre-listing packet. Do you have a pre-listing packet you use right now? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is it. This is it right here. I mean, it's, it is the easiest, simplest deal. They're 10 bucks. It tells the whole story, and it will definitively set you apart from the competition. So this is dropped off the day before because the worst thing you can do, you got 15 minutes, right? Is that new? Is spend time going over all this. Well, we have secret covers. So we have five different cover series on the exact same thing. Nice. So if you don't like a guy looking at a rock, nice. but you like a cyclist, we have a cyclist one. A guy in a canoe, you know, a, a little uh, tent, and we also have the hardcover. And they're all 10 bucks. Nice. So they're, they're, they're good to go. Are they all so, guys or girls? They're girls and guys. Oh, and families good. even. So we have all kinds okay. of stuff. Oh, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're an equal opportunity offender. No question about that. So just know that these are available. But drop this off the day before. So I've done that. I've dropped this off the day before. So now when I show up, I have my CMA. But really all I have is I just have this to go. And this just stays in my car. And you'll see kind of how I use this in the presentation. But remember, I only have 15 minutes. And I've already used two minutes of it. So we have 13 minutes left. So who's my clock? Who has a watch? A timer? The recorder does. An iPhone. <coughs> Todd does. Okay. Todd's got his little, his, uh, his deal there. So um, let's assume I've come in the house. I've walked around. It seems very nice. You've given me the tour. We're sitting down at the, uh, the coffee table, the, the kitchen table at this point. And, um, and Todd, thank you for, for uh, having me again. What I mentioned before, I'm, I'm quite serious about If what I uh, don't, uh, what I say doesn't make good business sense in the first 15 minutes, I'll, I'll just stand up and leave, okay? Sounds great. Okay. Yeah. So did you happen to get a chance to look at this? I, yes, no. No, no, no I didn't. No one ever does, right? You drop it off and it looks really nice. They go like this and they're gonna read it before they go to bed and they fall asleep. So, uh, well, either way, Todd, there's really one part in here that I think is probably the most important um, piece and that's really, what we do to get your home sold. I mean, quite frankly, I've got 15 minutes and I'm, I don't want to take a lot of time talking about, you know, my dog, Rufus, or all the awards that I've got, the plaques that I've got, my successes, because quite frankly, there's a reason why we sold more homes last year than any other real estate company in Colorado. We sold 9,080 homes last year. It's because we don't focus on me, we focus on you. We focus on getting your home sold. We focus on doing things that our competitors simply don't do. So. I'm guessing it's probably why you had me here today. So let's just kind of quickly start out and kind of walk through the things that we do differently to get your home sold. And as you may have noticed when you looked at the, uh, the book last night, um, there's a section here called marketing and, and how we do the marketing differently. And what I want to start out by just mentioning is that we really think photos are the core of everything. Without great photography, then really nothing else matters. So we've I'll hire a professional photographer that will come out and take magazine grade photographs of your home. Because again, this will populate everything else that we do. We don't have someone in the office do it. We think it's really an important job that should be done by a professional. So that will be the first thing we do once we get the home staged. Uh, at that point, uh, with your permission, I'd like to produce a 30 second television spot. It will air on the TV show after 9 news on Saturday morning. But most importantly, it enables me to create a YouTube video which will be on our YouTube channel, which is the highest traffic YouTube real estate channel on YouTube. Um, it's, a, it's a great place that people come to to see properties and see videos of properties. We tag it by your property address. Um, I'll have, of course, all of my contact information on the video the entire time because the best thing we can do is get the call to come back to me because no one's more qualified to get your home sold than I am. I understand the uniqueness of the house, but I want to make sure it doesn't go to a floor person or you know, somebody who might be catching the phones that day. We've got one shot at many of these buyers and we can't afford to, to lose it. So with that, that nice um, YouTube video spot, we can also do something that's kind of fun. I send out a lot of emails, nearly 2,000 emails every single month. 
I send emails out to home inspectors, to appraisers, to, to uh, you name it, buyers, sellers, past clients, current clients, lenders. I send <coughs> emails out to co-oping agents. So on the bottom of every single one of my emails, I want to feature your video clip. Again, it's just added exposure to what we think might be the right audience, and I'll just pop that on there. And by the way, if you want to send the link out on YouTube, or on, you want to tweet, or you want to put it on Pinterest, or whatever, I can give you the link so you can do that too. Again, this is all about exposing your property to the greatest number of people that we possibly can. So once we do that, um, we want to do some print marketing, and I'm very selective about print marketing. Have you ever seen this before? Pretend like this is the, the group source. Yes. You ever seen this source before? <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's a great publication. It comes out in the, in the newspaper. Amazing, they still print those, the newspapers. It's, it's kind of crazy. But here's what we discovered, and it was quite sobering, that 86% of all unsubscribed real estate publications end up in the trash can before they're ever looked at. We just can't throw money away. You got to make sure it's spent carefully. Now, I'm not sure, but, but I'll ask anyway. Have you happened to have seen our magazine before? It's a nice magazine. Um, it's, here's what's so unique about it. People pay to get this every month, every issue. It's subscription-based. There are 33,000 people across Colorado that pay to get this every issue. In fact, we have 1,200 that live right here in Larimer County that pay to get this. When someone pays to get the magazine, what we discover is it sits around a little bit longer. It's on the coffee table. It's in the house. It's getting looked at. And obviously, it's a real magazine. That's why it stays around. Um, we think it's an important place to showcase your property primarily because we have demographic data that supports that these readers, that in the next 18 months, 34% of these readers intend to build or buy a new home. It's the perfect demographic. The downside for us is expensive. It's $4,000 a page. But I'd like to put an ad on your prop of your property in the, in the magazine just because we can't afford to leave any rock unturned. We want to make sure we're doing everything we can to get your home sold. Obviously, that wasn't the case last time you had your home on the market, I'm assuming, because it's still available. The next thing I'd like to do, um, this is kind of an old-fashioned thing, but it just seems to work. I'm going to create a brochure, a little uh, postcard for your home announcing that it's on the market, and send it out to all of your neighbors. Because quite frankly, what we found is that oftentimes neighbors have friends, family members, and co-workers that want to live in the same area. So they're a great source of business. So we'll send this out to all of their homes. Again, the idea is to get calls back to me so I can get them in your home. And if I can show your home, chances are we're going to get it sold. Um, also, we really believe that brochures are important, that they, re they properly reflect the quality of your home. They're not the cheesy black and white ones that you see in brochure boxes. In fact, um, speak, and these stay in the home. These don't go in the brochure box. I noticed when I came up to the house that you currently have a brochure box now. How has that worked out for you? Always it's always empty. I know. They're hard to keep filled. They just, they just are. Even if I give you a stack of 100 or 500 of them, they're hard for you. Now, all of a sudden, you're marking your own home. Why do you have me, right? So what we discovered is that, for the most part, brochures and brochure boxes either end up gone because they're all empty, or if it rains, they're all soggy and gross in the bottom, or if the wind blows, they're all around your neighbor's trees, and that doesn't make them very happy. So if you notice, my sign looks a little bit different. On the top of the sign, there's this phone number. Folks can call this phone number, put this code in, and now what they have real time is a beautiful brochure of your property with color photographs, 25 color photographs, and you know the quality of smartphones these days, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the current price, which is kind of a novel thought because oftentimes if there's ever a price improvement, what we end up having happen is that the brochure boxes, property uh, uh, brochures are all wrong. So that's just a nice way to be able to keep it fresh, keep it current, and keep it real time. But here's one thing we do differently. Where many agents in this business are simply sort of reactive, waiting for things to happen, I've discovered I've got to be proactive. So anytime someone logs in to get more information about your home when they're in front of the house, I'm notified, I'm notified by fax <laughs> and by text. So the moment they're there, I get a text message saying they're there, I can hit a redial, I can call them back, and I can say, hey, I understand you're in front of 1325 Oakdale. If you'd like to see the inside, I'd be happy to show it to you. Well, some people are a little offended, like, well, well, how do you know I'm there right now? But wouldn't you rather have me doing that than just doing nothing? I mean, really, at the end of the day? So we found this is a great tool to get people when they're most interested, which is right when they're in front of the house. Then what I'll do is I'll send out an uh, electronic postcard like this. It's actually more than a postcard. It's really a detailed sheet. It goes over the mapping of where your home is, all the features, all the photographs, 
This goes out to my thousand people in my sphere. They're my past clients, my current clients. They're, they're folks that I've done business with or intend to do business with. But the nice thing about this technology is whenever they look at it, if they open it up and look at more information, then, I, then I'm notified how often they check it out. So I can be much more efficient, meaning if I send this out to a thousand people and eight of them look at this piece, look at your, look at your home, then I can contact just those eight and see if they want more information. Is that on Resora? Is that what you're talking it's about? It's on Resora. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. It's you about not just today. being proactive, but it's also about being efficient. We've got to be efficient in this business. Um, question for you. Before you listed with Bob over there at the group, was, was there any websites that you went to that you happened to frequent? Maybe to get approximate valuation of homes or what's happening in the market? Zillow. Any Zillow. Zillow. Trulia. Trulia. <coughs> Realtor.com, yeah, those are, I mean, you're not uh, unlike <clears throat> most of America. In fact, if you look here, Realtor.com is the highest trafficked real estate website out there. Now, quite frankly, I'm not very happy with that. I mean, I really wish that it was ColoradoHomes.com. And although our website is the highest trafficked real estate website based in Colorado, we don't even compare to Zillow, Realtor.com. So the, the challenge is it's very expensive to do Realtor.com and Zillow and these other ones right and what I mean by right is this. Did your last agent tell you that every listing that goes in the multiple listing service is also flowed into Realtor.com? Yes. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. That is true. <coughs> but let me just demonstrate the difference. So here's a typical property coming into Realtor.com. It's a nice home. It's right down the street, priced at $2.7 million. Take a peek there and imagine you're on a screen scrolling down. Just try it. Tell me who the listing agent is because obviously if you're going to make contact, if I'm the buyer for this home. You have a short window to get my attention. My phone call could be a very valuable phone call. How do we get a hold of you, the listing agent? Take your time. There's no rush. Bottom of the list. And what's it say down there? Who's the oh, listing agent? It doesn't. It says really? Hanover Realty. You're kidding me. Like no person? Mm -mm. Here's what we've discovered. We found that when people are looking here and they really want more information, do they want to talk to a company or do they want to talk to the person who knows about the home? Far too many times they scroll on the next property. And your, your buyer, your one buyer for your $3 million listing just went to the next property. We can't afford that to happen. So even though it's expensive, here's what I do. I do a personal profile on top of the, the actual ad on every single page in Realtor.com, in Zillow, in Yahoo Real Estate, in AOL Real Estate, and in Trulia. I have personal profiles. Now this is expensive. It's you know, three, four, five thousand dollars a year. But again, we can't afford to have inquiries on your home go somewhere else. So we make sure we capture all of those directly so that I can get back to them quickly and see if they want to see the inside of their home. I can't sell your house until I get someone inside your home. That's the way it works. So um, how long have we, have we been? 11 minutes. 11 minutes, okay. Now I made you a promise before I started. Um, first of all, I said that we sell a lot of houses. And what people usually ask me is, how do you do it? What do you do differently to cause so many homes to be sold within your company versus the competition. And quite frankly, it's because we just do things differently. We just focus on you and your property and getting it sold and not everything else. And the results certainly speak for themselves. Well, before I got here, I made you a promise that if uh, what I said didn't make good business sense in the first 15 minutes, I'd just stand up and leave. So shall I pack my things up and leave or do you want to talk more about the marketing of your home?